Hi guys, happy Friday. So I'm taking a break from cleaning my house and I wanted to share a couple things with you before the dogs try to eat them. <laughs> I wanted to share first that I ended up getting Max a couple little toys, they're kitty toys for his birthday because I had mentioned that I wasn't sure what I was going to get him. Really? Really? For his birthday. So I got him a couple little kitty toys. One's a little lamb chop. One's a little Gumby. And one's a little mouse with a long tail. Because Max likes to um, grab him by the tail and carry him around like he killed something. <laughs> so I got him a little, a couple little toys. And I thought, someone had messaged me um, <coughs> my email. Um, <laughs> He is a stinker, you guys. This guy's personality is like no other. Let me tell you. Like no other. <laughs> um, someone had um, emailed me and said just spend some alone time with him. And that's what I'm going to do. That's what I've done with some of my other boys. I looked at the weather uh, for his birthday. And so far it looks like it's going to be nice. So I thought maybe him and I could go for a walk in the park uh, by ourselves that day. As long as it's not too... It's raining right now. We had some bad storms yesterday. Um, as long as it's not too messy, I guess I could just wear my boots and take a towel to put in my car uh, to wipe his feet. Um, so anyways, I'm going to put this little stinker down. No, these are Max's birthday toys. You know I got to go put these in my kitchen. Hold on, guys. If I don't put them in my kitchen, he will... That little boy will just, his mind, when it's focused on something, it's focused on something, and he won't leave it alone. No, he will not leave it alone. He is like, he's a crazy little puppy, let me tell you. And I don't think he's going to get much bigger than what he is. He's eight months old right now, and um, he's 15 pounds, I believe he was, when we took him to the vet, and I think he's going to be about 15, 16 pounds. My next smallest is Mickey, who is 18 pounds. And I have a feeling he may be a little bit smaller than Mickey. Because um, most of my boys, by the time they were 8, 9 months old, they were the size they were going to be. So, And of course, not knowing um, about his parents or anything, since we um, rescued him, I don't know what size they were. So... I'm thinking he's going to be a little bit smaller than the rest of the guys. So, he's a lot feisty. Maybe that's why he's so feisty, because he's smaller. I don't know. Okay. Um, next thing I wanted to mention, they're not up there, Milo, <laughs> was I wanted to let Christine know that I received Max's birthday card you sent. And this is where I struggle when people send um, monetary gifts for the boys. I don't know if you guys want me to share them or not. So if you guys can write in the cards, if you don't mind that I share, um, so I know, um, I'll, I'm going to keep this private, but she sent Max a wonderful birthday gift, which I, Max really appreciates. Um, and then she had a card in here that said for Mozzie and I was thinking, Mozzie's birthday is not till November. I wonder what this is for. And I totally forgot about, he has a surgery coming up. So she sent a donation. A wonderful donation so I don't have to worry about depleting my emergency fund for it um, for Mozzie's surgery which is April 1st I have to drop him off at 8 o'clock in the morning on April 1st for his dental and to have his cyst removed so thank you so much Christine you are you are so kind to my boys and I really appreciate it I started crying when I got your cards and I'm starting to tear up right now Woo! <laughs> Thank you so much, Christine. I really appreciate it. I wish sometimes I could like, I wish you guys lived around here so I could give you guys hugs because you guys are so nice to us. So thank you, Christine. I just want you to know I did receive it in the mail two days ago, I believe it was. Um, so thank you. And then I keep getting questions about the outfits I put Mickey in um, since he's had his abscess on his, his anal gland abscess. And I was seeing they're not really a onesie. Well, they are kind of a onesie because they're a one piece, but they're not like a traditional onesie that you put babies in. And someone mentioned on one of my Facebook posts that they, that it's called a romper. So I wanted to share with you 
what they look like because a lot of people have been asking me what they are because they have a pet um, getting neutered soon. So this is what they look like. Remember how I said they kind of would look like shorts? How they're a little like longer here. Whoop, if I can hold it. A little longer here in the leg. Well, these little outfits sit up higher on the neck of the dog. Um, a traditional onesie sits lower. And when Milo was new... Hold on, guys. What's going on out here? It's just the FedEx man. Okay. Get down. Come on, Mark Magnum. Get down. It's just the FedEx man, and he's like three houses down. No. Um, anyways, the traditional onesies sit really low. So Milo was the first dog I had. Sorry, my head's cut off, guys. Um, first one I had that wiggled out of it in the middle of the night. He was like a little Houdini schnauzer. Um, so I had to use like a hair tie, and I had to bunch the onesie up to keep it tight enough so he couldn't um, slip out of it. But these fit perfect um, on the neck for my dogs, for Mickey. This is a Carter's 24 months. Here's another one here. I haven't used this one yet. And I have a couple more too that are in the uh, laundry. So I found these at Sam's Club for $6. So I have four of them now. So if I ever have any other need to need one of these, I have them now. So I'm going to wash these up and keep them in a special place so now I will always have them and um, Mickey like I said is 18 pounds so the 24 months fit perfect now a dog a little smaller like Milo he would probably need 18 months so I would suggest if you don't know what size you get your dog get a couple different sizes keep the tags on them try them on and whichever one works keep it whatever doesn't work take it back so um, and like I said these were six bucks at Sam's Club and I think they were at Myers. I think they were like $10 or more uh, for the Carter's brand. Um, I liked them because they're really soft. I just, I used to always buy Carter's for my kids. And I know it probably doesn't matter for dogs. So you could probably find a cheaper brand <laughs> of these. But I just like the Carter brand. So that's why I got those. So that's what those are. Um, and then I also wanted to mention yesterday I was getting my hair highlighted. And I was talking to my girlfriend who does my hair, and we were talking about how storms were coming yesterday. Um, I got my hair done at 2, and they were supposed to be rolling in a little bit after I was leaving there. So I stopped at PetSmart because she mentioned that they had um, a crate cover for the crates there. I had never seen them before, and I was like, I've never seen them. I've been in PetSmart so many times, I can't believe I've never seen them. So I don't know if they just started carrying them or I, I've just never seen them. So um, she was talking about how she uses it to completely cover up her dog crate for her dog who's scared of thunderstorms and how it's a little bit thinner. So it's like, you know how you put big blankets on top of them or something? You could probably use a sheet too uh, to kind of cover them up to make them feel like a den. Um, she just said it's easy, it fits perfect, doesn't get bunched up, doesn't move around all the time. The dog can't grab a hold of it as easily and pull it inside the crate. You know how blankets will smush down between the um, holes of the crate. Anyway, she told me it was really nice. It's waterproof, it's um, washable, it washes easy. So I went and picked one up and this is the brand. It's called Quiet Time Defender. And it was, this is for the crate size, a 24, a 24 inch crate, 24 by 18 by 19. But it says it fits most 24 inch, uh, which is the length from the front to the back crates. So that's what it looks like. And so yesterday when our thunderstorms rolled in, Miggy of course started shaking and hiding in the bathroom. So. I had put them all in their crates because we had a thunder, uh, we, not a thunderstorm. Well, we had a thunderstorm warning and then it turned into a t tornado warning. It got pretty scary around here for a bit. We actually had a tornado touch down in a town, uh, uh, it would be northwest of us, say like a 10 minute drive, a tornado touch down in Vernon, Michigan. Um, we live in Sports Creek, Michigan. So it was pretty scary. <laughs> 
here and I had had them on their crates that way I could grab them fast and not have to run around and look for them um, if I needed to get down in the basement. So Mickey was in there and he wasn't whining. He seemed very content in there. It seemed to work a little bit better than the Thunder shirt. So let me get the camera and show you what it looks like on the crate. Are you going to show everybody your uh, crate cover? No? You're leaving? Okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> so here's the crate cover that I ordered for Miggy's crate. Oh, I didn't order it. I bought it at PetSmart. I ordered three more for the other boys' crates because I liked this one so much. And as you can see, why I like it is because look how nice and neat it fits on the crate. So much neater than a blanket or a sheet. <laughs> It just looks so nice and neat, and I like it. So, um, now you're back. Now you're going to show everybody your crate. Hmm. Now you want to be a model, a Price is Right model, and show off your crate. <laughs> He's been doing really good, guys. Yes. The swelling is almost gone. It's just a little swollen where his abscess uh, ruptured. So, yeah. So... I put him in here last night during our bad thunderstorms and this flap here, there's a flap, this pulls right over and it encloses the whole crate. And, and right here um, there's Velcro and you can Velcro it. This is how it connects on each side of the crate. There's little Velcro pieces. So I think the reason why Miggy um, relaxed and was comfortable in there is because it's all enclosed and it's completely dark. It's like his little safe space. I think that's why Miggy runs to the bathroom when he's scared because the bathroom is the smallest room in the house and it's always dark there. Even during the day it's, it's dark because it's at the end of the hallway and if the doors are shut to the bedrooms on each end by the bathroom, which they usually always are, it's very dark in there. And I think that's why his crate being covered like this helped calm him down. So I really like this crate cover. Like I said, I bought three more because Magnum and Milo have these plastic crates that are pretty um, enclosed now. Um, and I figure if I eventually need to cover up the front, if they ever become scared of thunderstorms or fireworks, which they are not right now, um, well, Milo, I don't know if he's scared of fireworks yet because I haven't had him during 4th of July. Mickey, come here. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so I don't know if he's scared of fireworks yet, but I figure if they ever become scared of fireworks or thunderstorms, I could, on this lip here, on their crates, I could put a piece of Velcro here and then uh, get a piece of fabric to cut to this size and put Velcro on the piece of fabric and like drape it over the front of this if need be. So I'm not going to order one for these crates and I'm not sure how well they would fit over these ones um, opposed to the wire crates. So yes, I really like these and they will be listed in our Amazon store if you want to check them out. These crates are the 24 inch crates. Mozzie's is a 30 inch crate because Mozzie was our first schnauzer and we weren't sure what size crate to get. So we had gotten a bigger one. And came to the realization that once we got Max that we didn't need one that big. So he's got a little bit bigger crate than the other boys. So this is the 24 inch size crate cover. Well guys, after I recorded the crate cover, I got an email notification that we had a package to pick up at our P.O. box. So I ran out to the grocery store and stopped at our P.O. box and picked it up. So I thought I would end the video by opening it and see what we got. Um, I wasn't expecting anything, so I'm wondering if it's something for Max's birthday. Since his birthday is the 18th. What is today? Is today the 14th? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Well, it's packaged in a cute bag that says a gift for you. Let me see what this is. Oh, 
Oh goodness, guys, I gotta go get my glasses. I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, it says, Hi Kim, sorry we missed your birthday. Enjoy. Love the Mattern, the Matterns and Frida. Oh, thank you guys. Okay. Let's see what this is. So it was for my birthday, not Max. Max is gonna be jealous. <laughs> This bag is so cute. Hey, Milo. Miggy's growling at Milo because Miggy has a bone and he doesn't want Milo to get it. He has one of those uh, bully slices. And Milo's getting up all in his business trying to get them. Oh my goodness. Schnauzer greeting cards. Probably because I'm always saying that you guys find such cute schnauzer greeting cards. Is that, is that it? Let's see if we can open this. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> yeah, they're just blank schnauzer greeting cards. Oh my goodness, thank you. Let me show everyone, Milo. Let me show everyone. Oops. You're, I got you right in the head with my knee. I'm always, you're always hitting your head on something because you're always so nosy. Okay. Here they are. Aren't these so cute? And then it's blank inside so you can write your own little message. Thank you guys so much. It's so nice of you to think of me. Thank you. Okay, so... I think that's all I have to share. Um, it's been a crazy, um, busy week with uh, Miggy having his abscess and just the normal day-to-day -day, uh, grind, you know. <laughs> so I know my videos probably weren't the greatest this week, but sometimes it's just sharing life, right guys? Just sharing life and what's going on. Um, I do have I received it probably two weeks ago, um, some different, um, boots for the boys to try. Um, if you remember, I reviewed those other boots that were sent to me. Well, these are a totally different type of style, but I've not had the time to, I think our, now my phone's ringing. Oh my goodness, guys. Hold on. <laughs> okay. What was I saying? Oh, it's a totally different type of style of uh, dog boots. So if I remember right, when I got them, I wasn't feeling well and then things were going on and then Miggy had his abscess and I just haven't had time to do a review on them. So I'm hoping uh, next week, one of the days next week, because I try to upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm hoping next week, one of those days, I can do a review on those uh, boots because they look very interesting. They're a totally different style um, and how they go on your pet. So be on the lookout for that video uh, next week. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'm hoping we have a great weekend. Most of the snow is completely gone except for in um, stores like parking lots and on the side where they had to plow it. It's taken a while to melt. but. It's been warmer, uh, which means muddier. <laughs> Maybe I'll try those boots in the mud in the backyard. So, all right, guys, have a great weekend, and we will see you next week.